Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this session, I'm going to give a lecture on uh, the second play of uh, fourth unit of DGBC Foundation English 4. Uh, this is uh, Home. Uh, Home uh, is a play which was written by a Belgian writer, uh, Maurice Maeterlinck. Maurice Maeterlinck uh, was the one who wrote this play. Before moving with the session, subscribe to the channel if you are new to my YouTube channel and you will get the further updates about my uh, uh, lectures. And uh, this writer, from of course uh, Villa family and uh, he got educated at uh, Jesuit college and expertised in law. When he was staying in Paris uh, he got associated with a um, lot of literary uh, figures, literary men, uh, particularly uh, Villiers D. Isle Adam. Okay, there he got interested in literature and uh, started writing. So he was a poet and a playwright of course. Okay, Though uh, he was interested in uh, um, lyrical dramas, his first work was uh, poetry collections and uh, the collection was entitled as uh, Service Childis. And his first play was uh, uh, appeared in the year 1889 and uh, the name of the play uh, was uh, La Princesse Marilyn. Uh, this one became very popular which you know gained him a lot of popularity as a writer. So that one is you know much notable work for him. Most of his plays have got uh, death as a team. Uh, okay, uh, that's it about the writer. Uh, now let me move uh, to the play. There are enough few characters. Uh, let me list out uh, those characters uh, because we need to remember the characters which involved uh, the play. Only then we can be very uh, clear with the play. Yes, uh, there is uh, the old man and the stranger and father, mother and uh, two young girls. Okay, of uh, the father and mother, and they got a child. And Mary and Martha, Mary and Martha, these two are, uh, you know, grandchildren of uh, the old man, okay. And uh, some reasons also there, okay. Here, the child and two young girls, they are uh, father and mothers, okay. They are uh, living in a home, uh, in a family, they are one family. And Mary and Martha, they are grandchildren of the old man, okay. And the stranger is uh, uh, from the neighbor village. The play was set at uh, uh, a garden, okay. It was a garden. Uh, beside uh, there was a house, okay. Uh, there was a home, okay. There was a house in which uh, the father, mother and two young girls and child, they are living. The time was about uh, 9 o'clock uh, in the, the night and uh, this family was uh, sitting and uh, they were not uh, aware of uh, their future incident. So they are not aware of uh, the tragedy which has happened and uh, these two guys, like, you know, the old man and the stranger, they are waiting, uh, you know, the back door of the house and because they are carrying the news of uh, uh, the girl was dead, okay. Uh, the uh, daughter of the family, one well, more daughter, okay, she was uh, found dead uh, in the river and uh, this news needs to be uh, disclosed to, to the family. These two are, okay, better up the news and they were waiting for the right time to open the news. Now these two are looking uh, okay, through the window, uh, what is the situation in the family because it's a big tragedy uh, so they can't open the news just like that, okay, this is not a happy news, okay, it's a, it's a very bad news. So these two are you know, waiting uh, the right time to open the news. So through the window they are watching like uh, the mother and the father was there, they were there uh, inside the home and uh, two young girls also were there and uh, the child was uh, uh, sleeping, okay. He's looking at all the, uh, the conditions of the family through the window. And they're also very cautious that, uh, that if they are, whether the family members are looking back towards these two men, the stranger and the old man. The stranger is telling like, you know, you could knock one of the windows and through which you can uh, get the sign of the father and you can open news. But he says, you know, how to open the news because the father is old and ailing uh, and the mother and the sisters are uh, too young. So he is uh, waiting for the right time because who will bear the news? Okay, he is looking for that. The old man says, no, I'll uh, go to the home from the uh, the next door. And the stranger says, like, no, you go alone. I shouldn't come with you uh, because I'm just a stranger, a passerby. You go alone. Okay? The old man says, no, it is not good to go alone. If I go alone, I'll open the news very instantly. So I, that will be a good uh, sign. Uh, I can't open the news very quickly. I need to take some time. So if you come with me, we'll uh, talk to them. We'll open the news, you know, little later so that, you know, they won't be broken much. The stranger was, you know, completely uh, wet and 
uh, ranch to bring in the water because he was the one who found the uh, body of the dead girl in the river and uh, he is explaining how he uh, found the body okay? when he was going towards the village and where he got the sight of a dead body was uh, floating on the water and uh, the current of the water and uh, there he found the dead girl uh, the body of the dead girl and when he was explaining that the old man is looking at the family okay the, what is the situation which is inside the house uh, he is also looking whether the family members is looking at us uh, our arrival or not because he, he can't you know get into the house just like that okay that's why he was waiting uh, very carefully the family knows the old man already but they do not know the stranger okay they do not know the stranger but uh, the family knows the old man okay he uh, visited the family now and then and uh, he is in touch with the family so uh, but at the same time he can't uh, get into the house just like that that too it was time uh, about nine o'clock in the night and the old man is talking about the dead girl like you know today morning she was alive but now she is dead okay um, i met her morning when she was going out of the church i seen her in the morning and um, she was also talking to me in the morning okay like she told me like she is going to her grandma house which is you know other side of the river uh, that river she was found dead so the stranger is telling like some patients told me like uh, she was wandering uh, in the morning that they have seen um, on the river bank the old man is also explaining that uh, he made martha and mary to wait beside the dead body and uh, he also told uh, these two children to uh, you know his grandchildren uh, if the group of peasants come they are also coming the village people they are coming with the news uh, to uh, inform to the family and he says like you know in advance and inform them because if the group of people come they'll, they'll break the news just like that you know the family won't bear the news the old man made uh, these two grandchildren to wait beside the dead body uh, of uh, the dead girl the old man says like no there are two young girls inside the house uh, yesterday evening she was uh, living in the house like these two girls now she is no more and the stranger is looking at the room and telling that they are uh, silent and smiling each other okay they are at peace okay now this news is going to destroy all the peace in the family so the old man says like you know if, uh, if uh, the villages the, the the peasants from the village if they come and they'll open the news abruptly so before that we have to open the news we have to uh, end by telling them what was happened actually uh, that the girl okay one of them knocked at the door now uh, mary is entering and she is coming now uh, she is informing that uh, the villages are coming with the news now uh, uh, the old man he is uh, Uh, hurry and he is he needs to go uh, very quickly to uh, inform the news to the family mary says like you know uh, i made martha to stay uh, with the dead girl dead body the uh, old man is asking how many people are coming uh, mary says the whole village uh, are coming uh, they are uh, not the bearers of the news okay they are coming with lights and uh, she said you know i told the villagers to throw the lights away to walk slowly and uh, not to make much noise even if they pray let them pray with a low voice uh, so uh, mary said all these things to uh, the grandfather which is uh, the old man now uh, the old man the stranger and the maid with three are here and they are looking at the family the two young girls are you know they are smiling each other and uh, their uh, mary looks at the family and she she, she started uh, weeping uh, because uh, the happiness is going to be destroyed so uh, the old man is trying to console or convince uh, his uh, uh, you know grandchildren now mary is telling to the grandfather telling that you know why can't we open news tomorrow when there is a light but uh, the old man says like he says like you know you no know, we got to know the news like we have to open now itself because uh, otherwise they'll uh, call us like misfortune renders jealous i don't want to delay the news uh, if the village is coming to inform the message and the family will put the blame on me like you know you know the family already you know the news already why can't you do why can't you reveal before the villages before the strangers so they would call me like this so before that i have to inform them because i know the family already now mata also arrived along with the crowd they have come the, the villages have come mata said like no i have been from the villages to wait on the road so mata says like no i got the small ring uh, which was found uh, on a uh, dead body i got the uh, ring the already grandfather stranger and mary was there and mata also joined them 
So Martha is asking, why are you waiting still? Why don't you reveal this? The old man is convincing, no, this is not right thing. Now we need to look for the right time. Okay, you won't understand at this age. She is convincing Martha. Uh, but she's saying, why don't I understand? See, because the villages have already arrived before that you have to reveal them. Now the uh, old man is uh, slowly trying to get inside the house to inform them and Martha is uh, telling like, I'm also coming with me, with you. But the old man says like, you know, stay here, uh, sit here beside your sister. Mary is there already. So she, you see with her, uh, he is telling and uh, this man is going inside, the old man is going inside. Now the, uh, you know, the peasants, the villagers also arrived. Before that, the old man got inside the uh, room and uh, when he got entered inside the room, the uh, uh, the two sisters of the dead girl as well as the mother and uh, the, the father, they are rising and looking at the man, okay. The mother, you know, looked at the old man and uh, she uh, tries to speak to him, to the old man. And the old man got inside the room and he was given the armchair and he sat and he was uh, trying to open the news but uh, he takes some time he was very reluctant to open it the mother was very anguished and she was uh, expecting what is the news which he is carrying and he's going to open and finally he opened the news he opened what happened he informed them that uh, their daughter was uh, dead found in the river and uh, even the crowd uh, they were waiting outside a huge voice in the crowd and, uh, the crowd as I said uh, the family was informed the old man informed uh, the family that the girl was dead as soon as they received the message they are trying to go out and the old man trying to prevent them and uh, but still the family's happiness was uh, destroyed and collapsed now uh, the family members are you know coming out of the house whereas the children uh, the kid alone was sleeping they, and the, the old man also coming out with this the play uh, gets over so finally uh, somehow the old man was uh, uh, you know able to expose uh, information about about the dead girl of the family and uh, so uh, as soon as they received the family the complete happiness of the family was broken was was destroyed that's it with this the session gets over thanks for listening subscribe the channel